Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, at long last, it is the mixing video. I will be mixing up some piggies to do the shadow pearl pour. And I will also be mixing up some paints as well. The paints are basically the same recipe. Whoopsie. I've got some blue black here from Atelier. Just a little bit. And I am going to add a little bit of GAC 800. This is GAC 100. This is what we use to mix the piggies with. Oh, this is GAC 100 too. Sugar. Ugh. I made up these cute little bottles for the fab. This is GAC 800. So we're going to put a little GAC 800 into this mix. Tex pouring medium, which is right here. This is a regular one. It's not the gloss. Oh, that's a sticky on it. And I usually mix that up first, add Floetrol, and then add water. But at the end, and I don't add my alcohols until the very end. I tried mixing the piggies with alcohol and then adding the gel gloss, and it it got real funky. It was really chunky on me. So I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Let me make the mistakes, not you. So we're adding Floetrol to this. And we can add water to the paint. We do not add water or Floetrol to the piggies. So stir, stir, stir. Now. I'm going to mix a pigment. I think I've already, do I have gold? No. I'm going to mix the Echeveria. I love this color. Had no idea how much I love this color. Please be sure you have a mask on as I'm putting on right now. Um, <laughs> we take a good scoop maybe a scoop and a half. And we are going to now add GAC 100 to wet the pigment. Now, if you don't have GAC 100, you can use GAC 800 or add a uh, Liquitex pouring medium, which I like to use the gloss for the for the pigments to keep the luster. And the reason I don't use Floetrol in the pigments is it dulls the piggies. So we mix it up really good. Now I've tried this three different ways. I've tried it with the pinata and the Ranger alcohol inks. And I thought that's going to be expensive. Then I went to food coloring and that was marginally good. And I also have in my little piggy pots here. This is ink from, it's toner ink. <laughs> so you can mix these together, but then you might not get the right color. <clears throat> So, in that case, you would mix a alcohol ink, but I do like this color, but I'm going to mix some alcohol ink anyways. I like this color because it matches. Oh, we don't want to put it, that in yet. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> okay, now we want to put in our golden soft gel gloss. I use the soft because it, it doesn't clump. So you put two good scoops in there and that's what makes it a paint. The GAC 100 is specifically made for pigments to turn into paint. So I got that from Golden. <laughs> All right, so there we got, we got our paint.
very pretty. Now we're going to add the Liquitex Gloss Medium. Liquitex Gloss Medium, a pretty good squirt of it. I want to say like maybe two to one, one to one. So this is a binder. Medi gloss or mediums are binders. And because we use such thin paints, we need to have binders in them. Now we add the GAC 800 to thin it out. And that's what that's going to be our thinner. No water. So we put a darn good scoop or squirt in there of that. And your alcohols will thin it out as well. Now, since I have a color that matches really well, and now I'm gonna take this off for a second. Oh, we have a color that matches really well. I should probably have gloves on too, because <laughs> when you're dealing with alcohol inks, they stain, let me tell you. All right, so this is Patina by Ranger, and I'm gonna give it a good squirt. And we're just gonna stir that up. And that's how we make the TLPs work for the shadow pores. Now you can, because, because you have the pigment in there, you can just take alcohol and use alcohol, but you, it won't be as vibrant. Um, I like vibrant. And if you don't want to, if you want to use just a little squirt of the alcohol ink, that's fine too. But I'm going to show you how to make alcohol inks out of TLPs. I do want a little more color in there. Patina. It's a very close match. And then we're getting it to the right consistency. Ta-da! Sorry, Karen. <laughs> Ta-da is hers. That's it, that's all is mine. <laughs> I don't own anything, really. There we go. So that's one paint done. And we're going to add, I think I'm gonna add, do, 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 do. this is Baja Blue or Sapphire. Sapphire is the one I think I want. Sapphire Blue. And then I take my pipette don't need that much. But if it's in there, I'm gonna get it out. So we're adding this to the paint, which the paint's gonna be a little bit thicker, but you can add water to this. It's the pigments we don't wanna add water to. Just mix it up, close your cap before you Beat it. Jeez. I'm forgetting what I forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was a very exhausting weekend at the fab. It was a very rewarding weekend. One of my students, Genevieve, um, after she came back the next day to pick up her um, finished piece, the dried finished piece, and she said, I need that? Oh my God, that was like the best moment. One of the best moments. I, I just had so much fun with everybody. I really did, but that really, it brought me to tears. It really did. Water goes in paint, it doesn't go in pigments. I use 91% alcohol, isopropyl alcohol from Walgreens. You can get it anywhere, you can get 91%. Um, if you go a little bit less than 91%, you might. it's just adding water to it. So use that for your paints and use the 91% for your pigments if you like. 
I'm going to put, this is still not the right consistency, it's still thick. Paints are going to be thicker. That's normal. So yeah, we had a great time. The ladies were awesome. The students were awesome. The artwork that was coming out of them, out of my class, out of all the girls' classes actually, was just remarkable. It was so pretty. And we all had a good time. And I hope I get to do another one someday. Not tomorrow. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> there we go. It's getting closer. I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol just for giggles. So we've got a paint and we've got a pigment mixed up. Now I'm going to show you how to make alcohol inks out of. Well, it's so simple actually. It's al it's TLPs and alcohol, and then you just throw it into whatever color that you can't match up with another alcohol ink. Now, if you want to make them alcohol inks, like to use on a tile, I have one made up here already. This is ore. And I have some of these little BBs I got on Amazon. There we go. So this is ore and alcohol, that's it. Now, if you wanna make them an alcohol ink to use on a tile or in alcohol art, artwork, hairspray, that's it, that's it, that's all. I usually pour it or spray it into there and then, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna spray it in here. You don't need a lot. It's just to make it adhere. Oh, there is the plain alcohol. There we go. So, <clears throat> I do. I am not an expert <laughs> at alcohol inks. So I am going to just play it by ear. I'm going to add butterscotch, patina, and gold. So this is. That's the patina. That's the ranger. This is butterscotch. And this is TLP gold. And this one is actually TLP in, what was it, caramel drizzle. I think I have a little ball in here. Oh, geez, Louise. This is from Sangria. This is why you want gloves on. And these stupid little bottles don't open up. I mean, you have to cut them. Um, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna take a pipette, put a few drops down. And this is pinwheel. Oh, that's the other thing too. It gets stuck in here.
that's not it. They kind of react like a little bit like um, this rainbow by Marabou. I need to get bigger balls. Don't go anywhere with that. <laughs> That's not going to work as well because I did not put any hairspray in it. And I don't really want to because I want to use this. In one of my colors. Or do I? You just add a little bit more alcohol. Let me take these little BB balls. So that's just practice. I take like two or three of them. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these. I still gotta get an Amazon shop. <laughs> okay, and there you go. This is to be used in a painting. Well, that's kind of cool. Holy Toledo. That's gonna take a while to get off. Still not, see, I don't like that. I tried this when I was at Fab. If it has the, the um, hairspray in it, it doesn't go well in the paint. So I just use, crap, now I gotta mix another one. So, no alcohol right now. We do the gel first, after we do the GAC 100 and the pigments. Make it a paint. Trust me, I did, <laughs> I put the alcohol in first and then I put the gel glossy. Oh my God, it was one great big clump. And I, I tried and tried and tried to mix it up and it would not, it was just, it was a clump. It was a mistake. Here we go, Liquitex Pro Medium, a good shot. Paints go, well, they go a long way, but I do like a lot of color. Our GAC 800 right here. Thin that baby out. I put a lot of pigment in here. It's kind of thick. It's on the thick side. So I could literally put this in if it didn't have the hairspray. The hairspray binds it and lets it, it doesn't move, or it doesn't move as much. It's real pretty. Make sure you wipe off your spoon or your stick. These sticks, I just love them. They're the fluid art codes. Actually, I love these guys too. I had these left over from the, the event. These clean up so nice and they're all sitting in my sink right now. So when I go to clean them, they'll come right off. And that's that. Oh, or I love you. <laughs> I want kook. I always shake my alcohol inks just in case there's any sediment at the bottom. Give it a good squirt. But like I said, you can make your own. And then it's a perfect match. I 
I will be having an upcoming video on how to repair a damaged campus. I don't know if you guys have ever made the mistake of putting two canvases face to face and then they get stuck and then you end up with these lines across. I did it on a painting that sold. So the good part about that is now I figured out how to repair it. It's quite the, um, you have a lot of steps involved. Okay, just plain alcohol. And this will thin it out. Doesn't have to be super thin. Okay, so I'm gonna let these sit for a bit. I'm gonna mix my other colors up. So we're gonna be doing Echeveria or blue black and I'm gonna do Soho Urban, uh, Urban Artist in Turquoise and in Mineral Blue. And that should be a nice combination. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Hi guys, I'm back. Hey, <clears throat> I just wanted to give you a quick demo on uh, these hands-off handles. I just brought these back from the Fluid Art Boutique. And I wanted to let you know that the paint does peel off quite nicely. I mean, look at that, peeled right off. All right, I'm not gonna spend too much time doing this because it's already a long video. So what you wanna do <clears throat> is take your canvas, which I already put push pins in, but it had it in. So you want to take it and put it like this along the side of the rim. Slide it in. Make sure it's even on both sides and just twist. These are really good for people who are having problems with their wrists. Um, <clears throat> I'm just starting to have problems with my wrists. And you can also level it with the screws. So it's really, I mean, it's quite easy. See, this is the device. The screws go in here. You slip it in. And these do fit both the thin and the thick canvases. The deep edge. And <clears throat> makes your, <clears throat> pardon moi, makes your life a whole lot easier. And you can get them at handsoffhandles.com. I have a coupon code in the description. Oh, geez, Louise, just for you. <laughs> I like getting coupon codes for you guys. There's a few in there. Shelly Art, um, her new course that's out. Um, there's a 15% off discount code. And then eye candy and color it. So here we go. I'm going to pour, I'm going to stir. <laughs> it's always good to stir your mix just to make sure you've got the right consistency. Yeah, and see it's a little thick. It is thick. So if I would have poured that out, I would have been sad. You have to incorporate all of the ingredients too. This, this is leftover. Anyhow, water. You know what? I think I might let my paint sit long enough. I'll be back, right, guys. I'm back. So we are going to flood this canvas <clears throat> with some nice, thin pearl mix. And here we go.
Ew. So we're gonna lay our colors down now, guys. And watch the magic. Oh, there is a hair on me. All right, this is Modern Masters in Rose Quartz. And I've got the other color I have. This is lovely brown. And this brown, it's Cause Earth Shimmer by Mixed Media Girl. And it's, it's a, her, her acrylic pore paint. And I just added some alcohol ink to it, butterscotch. And those are the only two colors. Oh, sorry. This is Soho Mineral Blue with Turquoise Mixed. And this is Soho Mineral Blue. I have no idea how these colors are going to react together. We'll soon find out. got some colors left over and I'm going to tilt back and forth Oh, look at all those pearls happening already. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I kind of go around in a circle when I'm doing this part of it. Lots of bubbles. But if you mix your pigments and don't let them sit long enough, you get these little tiny things here, which won't be too much of a problem since we're going to be blowing. Okay.
Hey guys. Well, I abandoned the, <laughs> the painting and went and got a few Z's. And now I'm up. I actually did this painting as the sun was coming up. <laughs> but I'm really, I just love this technique. I can't get enough. Cannot get enough. But um, I mixed all the piggies with the it's drying, you can see it's drying. I mixed all the piggies with the alcohol and alcohol inks. This right here is the Echeveria, and it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I like that I put different colors, I put different blues on each side. It's always something different. And sorry about the glare. Um, if I turn the lights off, it'll be dark in here. Now you can see my shadow, dang it. This is why I always do my close-ups at night so I don't get the glare. But anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget tomorrow, Sunday the 16th, we have the Color Art Splendor Fall event. And there's lots of prizes to win. Stay tuned. It starts at 2 p.m. with Leslie on stud. And there's a, there's 16 artists, I think, so I can't name them all. <laughs> all right, ciao for now.